Hello, fellow graduates, loved ones, and the Newman community at UC San Diego. During my three years here, I've been blessed with being able to wear a variety of diff different hats to serve the Newman community. Starting as a little freshman, I remember being frustrated at Luke Colosi, a student minister in a maroon shirt, after spending all of week zero trying to look for the Newman Center. I soon met Father Boom and Father Mon and formed friendships with priests for the very first time. Friendships that entailed teasing Father Boom about his love of green M&Ms and Cadbury eggs, or teasing Father Mon about the time when we accidentally didn't serve consecrated hosts. I attended masses, got trained to be a liturgical minister, attended the Discover Retreat, where I met my future housemates, showed up to every student minister committee meeting from faith formation to outreach, and attended Coffee House and Newman Live. After a year, I too was a student minister for LitCom in my dark green shirt on Library Walk, was a retreat leader, coffee house reformer, and a quiet presence in pastoral council, where I got to meet with Newman residents, YAGs, other students and staff to give input on all the happenings at Newman. All the while, I was extending the sense of community shown to me by the Vakis through after mass lunches, the student ministers before me who invited and showed me the culture of one-on-ones and making lifelong friends at all the Newman programs at the CES from CLCs to TNDs to XLTs. While juggling all these roles, I was growing my own faith through spiritual direction with Chris the Jesuit and Bible study with Kenny. My third and final year, I was invited to join women's ministry where I gave the female student perspective and lent a helping hand. I was now a student minister for social justice, where I helped facilitate interfaith events, donation drives, and educational programs at the CES. I was the lead for talent committee for Coffee House, bonded with Alex and Edward over food and deep talks, and soon found myself helping with filming New Newman Masses during quarantine. I have grown so much, not just in my faith, but as a student and as a friend. I'm so very grateful to have called Newman my home for three years, and I know many of us echo the same sentiments. Thank you to the staff and priests for the yummy meals, therapy sessions, and support. Thank you to my fellow student ministers and coordinators for putting on community building events for the jokes we shared and bonding experiences from one-on-one -on -one to laser tag to the guacamole competition. Thank you to the Newman community for opening their arms and welcoming me and ultimately becoming my family. Thank you to everyone who prayed for me and supported me to reach this point. Though it excites me to see the new wave of Newmanites with newfound energy and the adventures that await me, it saddens me to see Father Mon leave and to not hear him advocate for CLC 24-7. It saddens me to leave my home away from home and no longer see all the friendly faces that I saw whenever I was up on the altar doing the announcements, reading, or the like. It saddens me that the day when I'm no longer part of any of these ministries is drawing near and that I may not even get the chance to say goodbye in person to my Newman family. But even though it saddens me, I'd like to turn that sadness into something beautiful. I challenge my fellow graduates to bring Newman to wherever your future takes you. As the motto for Newman Student Ministry last year stated, in all things to love and to serve the Lord. May we bring the Lord's love and generosity into our workplaces and in our everyday lives. With everything going on in the world today, may we combat all the hate with all the community, spirit, and love we shared at Newman. And finally, never let us forget a faith that does justice. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Stay safe, stay healthy, and know that the best is yet to come.